I'm Richard Gale and I'm the course director for the BSc in, in Human Geography and Planning. Well, it's, it's a very natural um, sort of interaction between two uh, related disciplines. I mean, we've taught planning in, in the school for, for many years. Uh, and geography, we, we brought in about a decade and a half ago to teach alongside planning. Um, in, in a way, for obvious reasons, they, they are clearly about uh, space, they're about people and place. Um, in terms of geography, it's about theories that are, that are, that are brought to bear upon that people-place uh, relationship. Um, for planning, it's about policies which are used to, to, to shape um, places uh, and about the politics and the decision-making that affect those places. So in a way, what you get is, 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 a, is, a, is a natural meeting between geography with its, its substantive focus um, on various topics and its, and its theoretical um, drive, and on the other hand, the, the, the professional dimension of planning and its, and its problem-solving approach. Why Cardiff? Because it's, it's a great place for, for students of, of geography and planning. You know, I mean, historically uh, and, and contemporaneously, it's, it's, a, it's a, a capital within a part of the UK uh, with everything that, that you'd expect a capital city to have, but are very much on a human scale. Um, obviously, there are sets of historical relationships between Cardiff and, and its hinterland. So, of course, Cardiff historically uh, was a dock. Uh, for exploitation of coal. It has a relationship to the valleys in terms of, of, of the mining and extraction of that coal. And you know, more recently, th th those places have been uh, in, in a process of redefinition and reinvention, um, with differential success, one might say. So Cardiff is an interesting place, both from the point of view of student experience, but also from, from, a, from, from the point of view of the, the themes of the course. Why Cardiff University? Well, I mean, it's a great institution uh, overall, but in terms of, of our, our place within, within the institution, you know, we have a long-standing, excellent reputation for teaching planning uh, and also more recently geography. Um, so we're, we're a natural home for, for bringing the, the two disciplines of planning and geography together. We've been teaching uh, planning and geography in the school for a number of years. Uh, for 15 years this, this course has been running um, and it, it's been bringing together that, that planning and geography expertise um, quite successfully, I, I would say. What's happened recently is that as, as geography has, has grown, we, we've, we've looked for new ways to make geography and planning distinctive. So actually we've, we've, um, we're relaunching the course in a certain sense. We've, we've, uh, we've now got different pathways through the programme one of which uh, allows you to, to choose very freely across the optional content of, of human geography on the one side, planning on the other. And the other pathway is, it brings it much more closely to planning, uh, which is an accredited pathway. So recently we, we had the programme accredited by the Royal Town Planning Institute, which enables students to, again, um, choose across the two programmes, but do also a, a core geography and planning path which works towards recognition by the Royal Town Planning Institute. It gives students uh, a, a kind of professional badge on their education, uh, which of course makes them, them very uh, desirable, very sought after in the labour market. 